Hello, my name is Taryn Packer and I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today I wanted to talk to you about a cool little trick that I saw done in the largest SOLIDWORKS user group for this year. What they did was they drained and filled the tub right here in SOLIDWORKS. And they did it rather quickly, so I didn't quite catch what they were trying to do. So what I had to do was I had to take the time to figure it out myself. And now I want to show you in this video how you can do it on your end as well. So the first thing you need is a bathtub, obviously. It doesn't need to be this shape. It could be any bathtub. But you do need to bring it into an assembly file. So let's do that now. OK, so now we have this bathtub in SOLIDWORKS. Now what we need to do is we need to have another part file that we can use to pull the water from the bottom position to the upper position to simulate the filling and emptying of the tub. So I'm going to use this little duck file. But it's obviously in the incorrect position here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it to the correct position. Okay. Now this part file can only move up and down and that's it. But it can move through the tub and outside of the tub. I just want it to remain inside of the tub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my mate command, go to my advanced mates, and I'm going to use this advanced distance mate. This mate allows you to put a maximum and minimum value on the mate itself. So I'm going to choose the bottom face of my ducky, bottom face of the tub, and tell it that it can only go a maximum of 11.3 inches, and the minimum I'm going to leave at 1 inch. So if I press OK to that, now when I move this ducky up, it can only go 11.3 up and 1 inch from the bottom. It can only go in that area. Great. So now I need to create the actual water. To do that, I'm just going to do a quick section view, flip it so I can see the bottom face of the ducky. I need to create a new part file within this assembly. I'm going to put a sketch on the bottom part of that ducky, and my actual geometry for this part file will be the water in the tub. To get that geometry to match this tub face perfectly, that would be very difficult to actually sketch. So I'm going to use the sketch level intersect curve command, and I'm going to choose this face here. And what that does is it gives me a sketch line that's perfectly aligned with that face because the plane that I'm on, the sketch plane that I'm on, intersects that face that I chose. Any face that you choose in this select entities box that the plane that you're on intersects, it'll create sketch uh, sketches on those faces. I can extrude this and if I pull this down you'll see I get all this, all this water outside of the tub that I don't like. All right, so blind extrude won't work. What about up to surface? Will that work? Nope. That gives me geometry outside of the tub too. I want it to be contained within the tub, like a, like water would be. What about up to body? And I choose this body. That would work except for this hole. This hole allows the extrusion to go out into infinite space, and the computer is not able to calculate it. What I need to do is I need to plug up that hole. To that, I'm going to come up here to Surfaces, go to Offset Surfaces, click on these three faces to create surfaces on those faces. I'm going to say 0 inches, so it's perfectly aligned with those faces. Press OK. Now I actually want to open up that surface. And you can see there's a surface up here under surface bodies. But I want to close up those holes. So I'm going to go to filled surface. You can just click on the boundary that you want to fill and it creates a filled surface on that boundary. Do the same for this one up here. And now I have three different surfaces, but I want them all to be one surface. So I'm going to knit them together using the knit surface command. Choose those three merge entities. Press OK. Now it's all one surface. 
when I come back into my assembly and rebuild it, I've got that surface there now. So now I can edit this part file, choose that sketch, do extrude boss, do up to surface because we just created a new surface. Click on the surface we just created and it perfectly fills that tub as if it's water because it's going up to the knitted surface that we just made. Now water isn't gray, it's blue, so let's just change the appearance of this real quickly. We, we only have to do the top face. Make it blue. Now it looks like we actually have water in there. Here's the cool part. Move the ducky, do a rebuild using control Q and the water level moves. Bring it up, water level moves back up. But we don't want to have to rebuild it every single time. So I want to make it more continuous as if it's actually draining and actually filling up. To do that I need to use a motion study. Quick overview of motion studies. These are keys and these show what position in time each of these part files and mates are. So these are all our starting keys and they show this position here. If I move my time bar though up to let's say five seconds and then move my ducky at that five second time bar, see everything updates. The water level updates. Now I'm going to try moving it again, let's say 10 seconds. Move the ducky up. Everything updates again. So now I can press play on this and watch my water level empty out and then fill back up again. This has been Taryn Packer. I hope you've enjoyed this video.